Now, you girls have been asking a girl to drop my updated ball cap method and I'm finally ready to spill the tea. My last ball cap method video went crazy and I showed you how to transform HD lace, but just wait until you see this new version using an actual wig cap. You won't know if you don't try, little cool, I hope I'm right. Baby, hold up, just trust me. Baby, hold up, just trust me. You won't know if you don't try, little cool, I hope I'm right. Baby, hold up, just trust me. Baby, hold up, just trust me. Hey, yeah, yeah. Wait, hey, I've been trying to get it moving. Step up in the dance, watch my body start grooving. I just fell in love. Before we get into the ball cap, there are a few things that we have to get done first, one being prepping my natural hair. Your girl is finally trying to grow her hair back and starting this natural hair journey over again. I posted my first video showing two months of growth and how we got here on my channel and I will put a card somewhere around here. I just went and did the LGE method, leave-in gel edge control. Clearly not your typical LOC method, <laughs> but these products work really well with my hair texture and holds my hair in place without my curls trying to peek through. The wig I'm using today is from Kalai Hair and it's their very popular reddish brown kinky straight wig. This lace is 13 by 4 transparent lace and it's 180% density and it's super full and thick in this color, y'all. It is gorgeous on my skin tone. As I was fitting this wig on, I noticed that this wig is really big on my tiny little head and I knew I had a large chunk of lace that was going to have to be pushed back and that avoids that super low hairline look as you guys can see here. Now, even though we are doing the ball cap method today, because this is transparent lace, we have to handle it a little bit differently than I would HD lace. I cut the lace shorter because I didn't need it to be this long and the transparent lace is like almost white on me, but it does have a slight light brown tint to it. So instead of tinting the lace with mousse or liquid, I took some wig powder and applied it inside the lace and also tweaked the parting to make it more crisp. I also did a lot of plucking on the hairline because it does not come pre-plucked, at least my unit did not come pre-plucked, but I do plucking on my hairline regardless if they come plucked or not. So it didn't really bother me that I had to do plucking because your girl already does it anyway. I went ahead and started cutting the lace with my razor and one thing I want to point out with this transparent lace is cutting around the hairline. It's not like HD lace where it's super thin and turns invisible when you cut it with the razor. It's a lot thicker but this lace is really the strongest lace for your wigs lasting a very long time on the hairline for those wondering what type of lace lasts the longest for wigs. Now here is the star of the video, the new wig caps and I don't know where the hell these wig caps have been this whole time but grla, the upgrade is real. I'm comparing the stockings I've been using for ball cap methods and the new wig cap and the material is like see through paper thin on my hand. I tried looking online for this particular wig cap and I don't think it's reached the open market yet but Kalai sells these wig caps exclusively through the company. Even more of a reason to get a one stop shop wig bundle this rope you guys see me wearing is from them as well and they are just out here gifting luxury right now to melt the wig cap i'm using my trusty bold hold liquid gold around the hairline this stuff is really the truth when holding down wig caps and quick weave foundations i've been using this glueless adhesive for over two years and it goes out of stock super quick and i just checked the website and they have it available so if you have ever been thinking about purchasing this get it right now they also sell the liquid gold on amazon now so can we say hello prime I'm sealing in that bold hold with some even sensitive lace spray. This is my first time doing this combo because I usually reach for my even supreme lace spray, but I really like these two together instead. When the wig cap is fully dry, I put on some liquid foundation in my exact skin tone and watch as this foundation completely covers my hair underneath like a barrier almost. 
I took some small scissors and cut the hairline close as possible to my real hairline and cut the scissors being completely and utterly slow. You do not want to risk cutting your real skin. Now, when I was editing this video, this is one of my favorite parts to watch. I'm taking the bold hold once again and sealing the edges of the wig cap, blow dried it dry, then sprayed some hairspray to camouflage the whiteness and oh my gosh, look how it just disappears into my skin. The foundation of this wig cap is honestly the best I've done and the perks with this updated version of the ball cap is that you don't have to put on makeup to hide the lace. As far as like a full face of makeup. The install can be done makeup free and the lace is still invisible. This is the final look of my updated ball cap method and it's literally seamless on my hairline. The install was done with the Eben Sensitive Lace Spray once again. I've been trying over the past few months to connect all of my videos to use the same products more than once in the videos so that this way you're not using 50 million products for one install and it's been working out really well. The install I do with this wig is the definition of trust the process because this lace put in some work for me. As far as lace melting, this is a part of my installs I take super seriously seriously and I am really patient with for getting that laid melt you all saw in the intro. I cut my baby hair shorter so I can see better and did a little more plucking on each side until I was satisfied with the hairline. Family and love is what I stand on. Talking big, big. I knew that one day that I could make it big, big. I'm talking how to stay smoking without a sense. Now we get up and do it like we got a big wig. It's getting serious. I'm just using my finger to apply lace spray to the hairline and letting it dry for six seconds before using a comb to push the hairline in. I actually do this technique for both transparent and HD lace. It just helps to push the lace into the skin as close as possible prior to melting the lace with the blow dryer and just assuring that it has a really good hold on that hairline. So my wig is not flying everywhere in this cold weather right now. These black strips I spoke about in my previous Amazon video, they are stretchy and have Velcro on the bottom, so you don't have to tie them and it avoids ripping of the black strips. I also use the elastic band from Kalai as well to melt my lace for 30 minutes off camera. I'm not I was working smarter back when they was working backwards. Do it for the Grammy, only do it for a catch. Dropping back to back, but really I've been relaxing. After 30 minutes, I'm just combing out my baby hair and using a flat iron to curl all the baby hair outward before I cut them super short around my hairline. This doesn't have to be specific. It can be custom to however you like your baby hair hairline. And this is how I like to do mine. So after I've cut them, I'm just plucking them to make sure that they appear a lot more natural and just gonna keep working on this hairline until it's up to paw with how I like it to look. If you get up and get it, put your hands up, yeah. After I've cut and plucked the hairline, I'm using some lace in place mist to form swoops on the lace. And I will link the Go Glueless Mist down below. Back to this lace wig powder, I told y'all it's magic because watch while I put it all over the red dots from the lace, it disappears just like it's real skin. To make it blend in and look more realistic, I'm using some hairspray and just wow, talk about transformation. This hairline turned into HD lace like for real. I honestly didn't expect this hairline to come out like this. So to see the comparison from now and before, it's crazy how good this looks. Hair styling time. I'm using my trusty EAP heat flat iron to straighten this kinky straight hair. My EAP heat is like the best for thick textures and getting it bone straight in like one swipe. The hair tools from them can be a bit pricey, but I usually purchase my stuff from EAP heat on Black Friday time. So best believe this is the perfect time to invest in these hot tools because they are the truth. My flat iron is on 450 degrees all the way to the highest heat and it doesn't burn this hair at all and makes it so straight in such a short amount of time.
So right when your girl thought she was done, I seen this. And when I combed the hair back, the hair in the middle, you completely can see the tracks. So I believe this happened because I cut a lot of the lace off in the front. So I'm just gonna blame it on a tiny head syndrome. And I tried to think that I was doing something here and did this little half up, half down. I told myself like, girl, why did you play yourself like this? Because it looks terrible. Now, don't get me wrong, the lace is laid, the face is beat, but just no. Y'all would have came to me like, Laurasia, we see what's happening here, girl, you ain't low. So I just decided to wear the hair down with no parting and the look still came out cute. And I honestly feel like I look best with side parts anyway because they really frame my face. As I was finger combing the hair out, I've learned that the side part really puts a spotlight on the hairline and it looks so real. I've been really loving the way I customize my hairlines lately. I'm like finally coming into my own with customizing different hairlines to fit like the Laurasia Andrea brand. Now this is what I mean by there ended up being like no parting space. It's maybe like a inch to an inch and a half on the sides and it's maybe like three inches in the middle. So just a heads up for those with tiny heads like me and want to purchase this wig. I get up close and personal because y'all know I want y'all all in my business and to see that these installs are not capped. Now even though the wig ended up being too big for me the small amount of lace situation really only applies to like small heads like mine because I did go and look on their website and there are a ton of reviews on this wig with pictures from many customers wearing it saying that they love it and it does fit great for them so I just hope you know later on in the future that they do start to offer smaller size wigs for little head syndromes like me and all my other little head girl eyes out there but nonetheless this is a very beautiful wig and this is super affordable with the discount speaking of discounts Kalai is having a Black Friday sale of 36% off it's their biggest one yet this year and this wig I'm wearing in this video will be $174 off which makes this wig very affordable so make sure you check that website out and I will link it down below this install ended up coming out so good despite all the little hiccups we had in the video but that's what these videos are for Laraja Andrea is here to save the day for any complications or anything that comes in our way okay I hope you guys like my new updated ball cap method and these wig caps are super make sure you go to check out kalai.com and let me know how I did in the comments section on this install as always can't wait to see you guys in my next one and bye guys